What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and Predecessor announced today that they have secured $2.2 million from their seed round of funding. Now, if you're anything like me, you may be wondering, what the crap is a seed round of funding? Does that actually mean that they have $2.2 million at their disposal, or is it just something that was promised? Well, today I'm going to go through their post and explain exactly what a lot of this means. Seed funding is the initial stage of funding for any kind of business idea. It's the opening investment procured from others who believe that your business, in this case Omega Studios, has what it takes to become successful enough that you will earn a return on that money. Basically, yes, Obeda Studios now has access to $2.2 million that they can use to develop Predecessor or any other game, really. However, that isn't the limit. If they can take that money and turn their game into something bigger, the funding can progress even further into Series A funding. Series A funding is on average around $15 million and is usually given if the company has proven that they have a long-term sustainable business model with enough end users of their product to be profitable. Now, who's giving them this money? They have several investors listed with Silicon Valley Entertainment and Gaming Venture Capitalists and GFR Fund listed as the primaries. Both of these companies are known for investing in early stage technology. This is a big step for GFR Fund in particular as they've never led seed funding for a gaming company before. Also contributing are InVenture, Progression Fund, 1UP Ventures, Arena and & Company, and Ride Ventures. All of these investment companies have a track record for providing seed funding for tech industry startups with a particular focus on anything that evolves the user experience. They also receive money from Chris Lee, Jas Purewall, and Rupert Lohman, who are known as angel investors. Angel investors are people that have enough money just on themselves to invest in the early stages of a company's growth, usually in exchange for a percentage of ownership. That brings us to the real question here. Why are all these people and organizations giving Omeda money? Something you always have to ask is who benefits from any decision. Most people won't just give you money unless they expect something in return. In this case, all of these investors have taken a look at the popularity that Predecessor has already gained, they've analyzed the proposed business model, and they all believe in the vision, leadership, and eventual profitability of Ameta Studios. They expect a return on their investment, and in some cases, a place on the director's board of Ameta. Something else that caught my eye while reading through the announcement is that Robbie Singh is listed as the founder and CEO of Ameta Studios. I talked to Smokey about this to confirm that Robbie is one of the founders, he or she, I'm, I'm not sure, is the CEO, Chief Executive Officer, and Smokey is the CTO, the Chief Technical Officer. I wanted to confirm that Smokey was still in charge over there. I think I speak for all of us when I say that we believe in Smokey's vision of the game. I'm sure Robbie is great, and we all owe them a debt of gratitude for working so hard to procure this funding, but for us, Smokey has always been the charismatic and charming bearded face of Predecessor, showing up in live streams and YouTube comments no matter how large or small the creator is, and truly listening to and sometimes implementing fan feedback. Smokey is far too modest to say that he specifically founded Omega Studios, but those of us that have been around since the beginning know the deal. Now the big easter egg here, Omega's first game predecessor is one of the only few MOBA games that supports cross-platform play. Um, what? Did they sneak this shit on the PlayStation while I wasn't looking? Is this simply part of the plan, or is this something that has already happened? Does this mean I get to cross-play with my old crew again? Tell me, damn it! I don't... I don't want this small, unconfirmed statement to get my hopes up, but goddammit, it has. Against everything I've learned, it has. So what does all of this money mean? They say they'll use it to build unique heroes. I take that as completely new heroes, not epic assets. They'll make new skins and flesh out their predecessor universe, whatever the fuck that means. They also plan to eventually build a brick and mortar studio so they can work together and collaborate in person. I kind of hope that studio gets built in my home country of America, but we've been a fucking shit show for a long time now, so I think they should probably look elsewhere. This is a big step towards the success of Predecessor, and we of course need to congratulate the team, especially Robbie Singh, but we also should be giving ourselves a little pat on the back as well. It was because of the interest that we, as a community, showed in Predecessor that Omega was able to secure this funding. We should all be proud that us Paragon refugees were able to rally behind a project and help push this company towards an ever-brightening future. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, but for now this is the Mangoose signing off, you guys have a good one. Mangoose!